Hello everyone. In this chapter, I'm going to show you how to set up your environment in the Google Cloud Platform. And now again, this is an option. You can also set it up locally or on your own machine, or you can use the cloud for this. So let's go ahead and jump into the details. So in order to do this, you're going to sign up for a free account on the Google Cloud Platform, which is also known as GCP. And when you sign up for that account, you get a $300 credit and it's good for a year. So once you open up this account, you'll be billed for the, any services that you incur against that credit. However, the thing that I'm going to show you, the, the, the console and the editor within that console, there's no charge for running that. That machine is free, so you won't use up anything on your credit. So one thing that's really nice about this is, since you won't be incurring any charges, you can use some of the other services on the Google Cloud Platform to use your credit on. You can try out a few services and see how it works. You will need to enter in a credit card number um, to open your account. However, it will not be charged. You will go against the credit. And once that credit is done, it'll ask you to activate the account. So your account will be, you won't be able to use your account until you activate it. And that's when you would incur any cost. But the, the function that you're going to use for this, you won't be able, you won't incur any costs with this. And it's a really a, a good way to get familiar with the cloud. So to sign up for your free account, you're going to go to cloud.google.com slash free. And then you can read about the 12 months or the $300 credit that goes against that. And there's also a number of services that are also always free. So you can read through the details of that as well. So once you've established your free account, you're going to log into the to cloud.google.com and go to the console and log in. And once you log in, you'll see at the top of the screen a small arrow that I've highlighted here, and that's where you'll activate the Cloud Shell. And that's where you can do your development on the Cloud Shell. It's a small Linux machine that you can use free of charge, and it has a limited amount of storage. I think it's five gigabytes in that uh, particular Cloud Shell, but it's a great place to develop code in. So here's what it'll look like then. So when you log in, you'll see some information about your account. And then you'll see at the bottom then the cloud shell that's opened up. And then as a part of that, and I'll show this in a demo here in a minute, you can click this little pencil icon and that will launch the editor. And so once you're there, you're going to create a directory. You're going to use the make directory command to create a CS code directory. And then you're going to change that directory, and then you're going to create a new program using the .NET new command. So I'll demonstrate all this in a few minutes, but I just want to go through the steps here. And so once you've done that, then once again, using this little pencil icon, you can launch the editor. And the editor then will be available in this top area above the screen. And so I've blown this up so you'll see this kind of scenario here. You'll see program.cs, and you can navigate the files on your Cloud Shell program using this side editor. And then you can open it up during the editor. So here's a screenshot of just the editor and what it looks like. And I've dropped in just the, the code that was generated by our .NET new command. It'll generate, uh, .NET Core will generate a stub of a program and it'll put it out there for you. So then all you need to do is make a small change to this. I've made a small change that said, hello, world. My name is Eric and I added in just a few characters here and then I can save this and I can recompile it and the commands then to compile it I need to make sure I'm in my chapter 4 directory and then I just type in .NET run and it will compile and execute the program. So that's really the steps that you're going to see here in our demo. I'm not going to go ahead and, and sign up for the free account. It's pretty straightforward to do that. I'm going to go ahead and log into my account and I'll show you what it looks like in the Google Cloud platform or GCP to create your first program. So let's go ahead and I'll take a pause in this video and then we're going to jump out to GCP and take a look at how to write Hello World within GCP. Okay, I've gone ahead and logged into my GCP account and you'll notice up here in the top right hand corner there's a small icon here and it'll say activate cloud shell. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it takes just a few seconds and that'll spin up the Google cloud shell. Now one of the things I like to do is to go ahead and open up this window in its own 
dedicated window. So on the bottom menu here, if I click on this, it's going to open up the cloud shell in its own dedicated window. And what I like about that then is once I do that, I can open up the editor and it, it will stack the editor on top of the screen. So I'll should demonstrate how to do that now. You'll see the little pencil icon. If I click on this now, it'll open up the cloud editor and it stacks this editor on top of um, on top of the, the command window. So now I'm, I'm going to go ahead and check to see um, if .NET is installed. So I can type in .NET dash dash version and it'll tell me the version of the .NET core that's installed. So I've done that and we see 3.1.300. The code in, in this course, really you can use any version of .NET Core, but that's one of the other nice things about using the Google Cloud Platform is .NET Core is already installed in the shell. So now I'm going to go ahead and create a directory for our code. And I've already done that since I've been working on this uh, platform for a while. So I want you to create the CS code directory. So in this case, since I already have one, I'm going to create one called CS code one. And obviously, since you haven't used this system before, you won't have that problem. So I'm going to do, I'm going to now change my directory to CS code one. All right, I'm now located in the CS Code 1 directory, and now I'm going to create a new .NET console program called CH4 for Chapter 4. And so the syntax of this command is typing in .NET new console, which is the type of program we're creating, and then the name is CH4. So I'll go ahead and type that in, and it'll go take just a few seconds now, and it'll create our program for us. So now if I I can change directory to our CH4 program that we've created and I can run this by typing in .NET run. And you should now have this compile and run and it'll execute. And there it is. It, it put out hello world. So what happened there is the .NET new console puts out a stub of a program in that directory called CH4. And this is what I now like about the Google Cloud Platform is now that I've created that, I can go up to our editor. So I can go up here on our uh, on the left hand side and you'll see the files. And again, I noted I already had a CS code directory, so I created one called CS code one. You can really call it any directory you want, but uh, that's the directory that I uh, put in this course. And so now if I look at the chapter four directory, I can expand and contract these. I'll see our program.cs file. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on this and now we'll see the program that it generated. Well, this is the beginning or the very first program that you would have called Hello World. And it starts off by having a using statement that includes all the system functions. And we'll talk more about that later. It also includes a namespace called CH4, which we'll also talk about later as well. But the namespace is really a naming convention for your programs. And then the class, which is the entry point to a console program, is called program itself. And that includes a main function. These string or of arguments right here, you can actually pass things into the command line. So we'll also discuss that later. But the main thing I want you to do is to look at this console.write line program. I'm going to put a small change in here. I'm going to put it in a comma. Let's see, my name is Eric. I'm in just a simple change here. And then I'm going to go ahead and save our changes. So I'm going to go back to our console program again, our, our command line, and I'm just going to type in .NET run once again. Now, one of the nice things about this console is you can use the up and down arrows to, to look at previous commands that you've run. So you can scroll through these. But I'll just go ahead and type in .NET run once again. And now we should see the program with our new output. So there we go. Hello, hello world, my name is Eric. A super simple change, but it's really nice that you have the editor. If you want to close this file, you can click on this. Again, if you want to make sure you save your changes before you run it. But this is a really simple way that everything's kind of built in, that you can edit code. It's free, uh, very easy to use. And this is what I use a lot to write code with because it's very convenient. All I need is a web browser to get to it. 
So that's really it. That's how you get up and going with the Google Cloud Platform and how you write your very first program, Hello World. We're going to use this as a baseline. We'll actually start copying this program. We're going to have a Chapter 4, a Chapter 5, Chapter 6, all the way through. We're going to make copies of this program, and I've included instructions on how to do that uh, within uh, Linux or the Google Cloud Platform to do this. So let's go ahead and jump into the summary. That's really it for getting started with the Google Cloud Platform. It's pretty simple. I recommend doing this actually. You don't have to install any software and you can get up and going right away. So let's jump back to the summary and wrap this lesson up. In summary, I showed you how to sign up for a free account on the Google Cloud Platform or GCP. I also showed you how to use some simple .NET Core commands, including the command to verify what version you have installed. I also showed you the command to create a new project and then how to open that project in the built-in editor and make a simple change and rerun that program. So that really gives you the baseline of how to use the Google Cloud Platform as a development environment moving forward. Again, we'll clone those directories from chapter four to chapter five, six, seven, and so on. And you'll use a copy command to do that. So you'll just be building on the baseline of what you've done already. So it's your turn now. It's your turn to go ahead and sign up for the account. I've included the PDF file that has detailed step-by-step -step instructions in case you get uh, run into any problems. But it'll take you through step-by-step, -step, including the things I just showed you to go ahead, sign up for your account, set up your first program and get going. So that's really it for this lesson. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for your interest in this video. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you would want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. So that's it for this video. Thanks again, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye-bye.